Orr's header. Routledge, nice touch. Here's Forlan. Good play this from Queen's Park Rangers. Smith cushions it through to Tarapt. Can he take it all the way? Well, he's gone down looking for the penalty against Noseworthy, but a flat rejection from Keith Stroud. Here's Forlan. Smith lets it run. Tarapt. Forlan! Wow. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful football all round. There's some good defending in there in the first instance from Sheffield United as it comes into Tarab. But this is the second instance. He picks Forlan out with a beautiful ball in. But this is the penalty appeal. He turns in to lots and lots of bodies, and it's the wrong decision. He loses his foot in. The referee has got a great view of it. It's a slip. And I think everybody in the ground knew it wasn't a penalty. Tarapt with a corner. And he'll get another chance. And that's a decent ball in. Oh, what an opportunity as it's scooped right across the face. Back in by Hall. I think it was Clint Hill who had the chance for Queen's Park Rangers. And what an opening it was for the defender. Here's Smith. Flag stays down here for Heide Helgerson. Routledge! Rangers up and running. Wayne Routledge. Well, isn't it typical? Isn't it typical? I've just said that Sheffield United have had their best five-minute spell in the whole game, and they find themselves one goal down. Now, as this ball is laid back and played, is there an offside? No. Centre half in the middle, Neil Collins plays everybody on side, and that's a great ball in. Everybody misses it. And Wayne Routledge anticipates where it's going. He's got a bit to do there, he's got to keep it down. It's a fantastic finish on the full, he guides it into the corner. And I don't think anybody can argue on the balance of the whole 28 minutes, 29 minutes. Queen's Park Rangers deserve to be ahead. Decent run, and what an effort as well from Orr. Well, it wouldn't have been the first time seen Bradley Orr do this before, drifting in from the right, not afraid to use his so-called weaker left foot. That is an absolutely stunning effort at goal, and he is oh so close to getting that second goal. Brilliant. And it's Adel Tarapt who takes it. Puts it into a very dangerous area. Fall out with a hit! And what a hit! It's an arrow through the heart of Sheffield United. It's a stunning goal, though, for Queen's Park Rangers, worthy of their place in the table. What well, stunning is the right word, because that is a lot harder than Forlan is making that look. It's coming back to him, it's spinning a bit, it's going across, but it's a pure, pure strike. What a beauty. That is, I doubt he will ever, ever hit a ball any cleaner than that ever again. He likes it, doesn't he? And rightly so. Absolute stunner. And a long, long, long way back now for Sheffield United. Now Smith. Helgerson. Routley! He started the job, and it looks as though he's finished it as well. Well, it's another cracking goal. Not quite in the same category as his teammate, Alejandro Forlan, but nevertheless, everything you would want of a player in that position. They work it really well again. Good movement from Tommy Smith, and then he drives inside. Routledge goes to the outside, and Elgerson spots him. That's what he wants, Wayne Routledge. 1v1, knocks the ball half a yard to the side. And he hits it hard, he hits it low, across the goalkeeper. And that's where you want him to hit it. It's a really, really good strike from a man full of confidence. And what a night those two boys have had, eh? Ball from Helgerson, here's Routledge. Adjamang looks for Helgerson. And it's Patrick Adjamang! 
Well, it was brilliant. Everything about it was absolutely out of the top draw, except the critical part, the finish. Beautiful football. Very unselfish there, Ajimang, but what awareness that is to pull that ball back there from Helgerson. Really would have been a, a wonderful team goal, but it's a poor finish. Needs to be at least hitting the target there. And it just leans really back, leans far back.